Okay, so today we are going to test the MAX 30102 pulse oximeter sensor. This will detect the heart rate and SpO2 from your blood using PPG method, photoplethysmography. And uh, we want we are going to connect it with the Raspberry Pi Zero. So let's talk about uh, circuitry and how we will connect it with the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, from this Raspberry Pi Zero W, we are uh, connecting it with uh, Wi-Fi and through our laptop. And we are going to use the GPIOs and uh, if the uh, sensor use I2C protocol. So we are going to use the I2C pins. If we look at the pin outs and you can see we have a DC supply of 3.3 volt and uh, we will connect the VCC of our sensor to this and then we have an SDA pin which is GPIO 2 and pin number 3 uh, then we have an SCL pin which is a GPIO 3, uh, 3 and the pin number 5 and then we connect the ground here uh, with the pin number 9 of the GPIO headers of the Raspberry Pi there is a very good uh, library available for max 30102 in uh, python for the raspberry pi uh, by this dog uh, barrel uh, uh, repository i will uh, pin this repository's link into the command uh, this repository have a class of a heart rate monitor uh, which utilize a sensor in a thread mode and it create a python thread which back in the background continuously read the heart rate and the SPO2 calculations. It also indicate uh, the mean value and uh, if the finger is not detected and it returns the BMP value in this format as well. And uh, here are the, there are the uh, start sensor and the stop sensor functions which start the thread and stop the thread. So the sensor continuously run in the background. I change a, a coding a little bit and cre more created a modified class because my requirements are a little bit different. I need uh, to read the sensor values. So I change uh, this thing. If you come to this repository, it has uh, these files main.py file, which indicates how you can run. And um, there is uh, you create an instance of a class and you indicate if you want a raw value of your uh, LEDs or not usually I will keep this false and uh, um, then you start a sensor and in then you don't have to do anything the reading will continuously will be printed into the console and uh, when you need to stop you just use the stop sensor function so let's open up over um, Raspberry Pi and see how it will work in over environment. I am using real VNC viewer and uh, then I will connect it with my Raspberry Pi Zero. I named it my Pi Zero local. Then it will show me the display of my Raspberry Pi. Here I am going to press OK. I have a folder called Max30102 and inside that I have all my files of the codings. And uh, I will show you uh, uh, later. Then I have also connected uh, it with my SSH terminal. And uh, I will just show you how I connected it. I go to my CMD command prompt and I just typed the SSH then pi at my pi zero w dot local and then hit enter. It will ask for my password and uh, if my password is correct, it will log me in into the Raspberry Pi. Then I will just enter uh, CD desktop to locate on a desktop and uh, I am on to the desktop. Then I can go to the 30102 folder, which is my folder for the coding. Then if I list all the files, here you can see these files are from the same repository which I mentioned. And uh, if I try to run the final 01.py file, then you can see uh, if I place my finger onto the sensor, it will indicate the reading like this. 
So that's how it is printing the values and you can see somehow the SPO2 values are not correct and even sometime it says finger is not detected. So these kind of informations I need them uh, separately and I don't want them to continuously uh, logging these values. I just want to uh, read the values whenever I need. So I modified the classes. Uh, I will show you. I created my own version of this class inside this file. I will open it, open it inside an IDE or a Thony. Here I I will show you that uh, similarly I have imported the 30102 uh, from the same file and then I imported the HR calculation file then I import this file is from the same repository which I mentioned earlier. Uh, the changes which I made I created these values if the BMP value is valid or not and then I have a, another variable which will indicate if the SPO2 value is uh, valid or not and similarly I have a variable to indicate if the finger is detected uh, it will return true or false then I have a variable called sensor connected which will indicate if my sensor is connected or not and if I want to print the raw values, I will just uh, make this variable true and then the thread will be run and if the print raw is available, I will mention IR red and green like this. Then the run sensor function is similarly, uh, this, uh, most of the time is same. The changes are uh, like this. I can utilize these values. I will just close uh, the sensor by pressing the control C uh, then I will come and open the Python and inside the Python I will just import the same uh, class from the uh, file which I created like this uh, from max 30102 after that I will create an instance of this class by monitor is equal to heart rate monitor and the print raw is false and print result is false so it will not continuously print the result then I will just simple monitor dot start sensor just like before and now it will continuously monitor the sensor value and if I place my finger nothing will happen because I mentioned that print result is false then what will I do I will manually ask from the last values and uh, I will just say that uh, I will I can also check if the sensor is connected or not so it will indicate uh, true and uh, this will be checked by checking the I2C bus if the sensor is connected or not then I can also ask uh, for if is finger is connected it says that finger is not connected if I place the finger onto the sensor and uh, if I try to ask again it will say yes finger is connected so if the finger is connected I will ask for the sensor readings as well and uh, I can simply ask for sensor readings from a function I will simply say monitor dot get readings so it will uh, print the last valid readings and if you see this readings variable it says that BMP is zero and uh, BMP values are false so it, which means they did not read any valid values in the last reading so if I place my finger and if I ask for the reading again it will just print the readings like this so BMP is this and BMP valid and SPO2 is like this and something like this so you have to place the uh, values properly and it will return the values like this so you can monitor uh, or in a continuous manner or manual readings so that's how you read the pulse oximeter sensor in a Raspberry Pi 0